hi guys welcome back to my channel life of a caribbean nurse it is your girl nurse ray so the topic today is diabetes so we're going to be speaking about what is diabetes the types of diabetes how diabetes affects the body how diabetes affects men how to treat diabetes diabetes type 1 and type 2 how to prevent it and also we have a chart with the different type of diabetic medications and also the class that they fall in and all their work on the body guys as you know i'm doing this on a slide so from time to time you'll see me looking down on the um phone or whatever the information is on to continue on i really do hope you guys enjoy this video please share this video with an individual with diabetes a friend that is going to nursing school an individual that wants to learn more about diabetes I really do hope you guys enjoy the video. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a metabolic disease that causes the blood sugar to go either high or to go low. The hormone insulin moves sugar from the blood into the cells to be stored as energy. With diabetes, basically now, the body either does not produce enough insulin or the body cannot effectively use the insulin that it produces. We go again with the diabetes. The body does either does not produce enough insulin or it cannot effectively use the insulin that it produces. So types of diabetes. So there's type 1 diabetes. There's type 2 diabetes. There's gestational diabetes and there's pre-diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, basically, the body does not produce enough insulin. So in type 1 diabetes, the body does not produce enough insulin. In type 2 diabetes, the body becomes insulin resistant and sugar builds up in the blood. So in type 2 diabetes, the body becomes insulin resistant and sugar builds up in the blood gestational diabetes gestational diabetes is high blood sugar during pregnancy this basically occurs when placenta produces insulin blocking hormones that causes this type of diabetes so gestational diabetes is high blood sugar during pregnancy this is caused by the placenta producing insulin blocking hormone that leads to this type of diabetes pre-diabetes in pre-diabetes, the blood sugar level is higher than normal, but it's not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes. So in pre-diabetes, the blood sugar level is higher than the normal reading, but it's not high enough for the individual or for a patient to be diagnosed as having diabetes. Signs and symptoms of diabetes. There are many signs and symptoms of diabetes. I've made a list of them and some I'll be talking about now in the video. Guys, as I've stated before, if you're in need of this um, slide, you can let me know, comment below, and I'll send it to your email address. All right, so we have increased thirst, polydipsia. We have frequent urination, polyuria. We have extreme hunger, polyphagia. We have slow healing sores. We have blurred vision that might develop. We have unexplained weight loss for the blur vision. Let me go a bit in details about this. So with uncontrolled diabetes, you'll find that many times the fluid leak, um, we have fluid shifting. So with fluid shifting, you know, sometimes the fluid may leak in the lens of the eye. When and if the fluid leaks in the lens of the eye, it causes the lens to become swollen. Once the lens becomes swollen, the shape of the lens will change. And when there's a change in the shape of the lens, you're going to find it that the eye it is harder for the eye to focus once the eye cannot focus then the vision will become blurry or fuzzy as many of us describe it risk factors for diabetes smoking is a risk factor for diabetes having high blood sugar and high cholesterol level is a next risk factor for diabetes being inactive is a risk factor for diabetes Meaning you're not exercising, you're not moving regularly, you just don't eat, watch TV. You know, being overweight is a risk factor for diabetes. So, because usually 
you see the more fatty tissues the body have the more resistant it is to insulin your family history puts you at risk for diabetes meaning if your mother is diabetic your father is diabetic your grandparents were diabetic you know you're gonna have to watch yourself ensure that you're eating properly you're exercising because it's a risk factor for diabetes ethnic group so you find diabetes is most common in African American, Native American, Hispanics, etc. So those are also risk factors for diabetes. How does diabetes affect men? Diabetes can lead to erectile dysfunction in men, decreased sex drive, and poor muscle strength. You might be wondering how does diabetes cause erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction basically means that their penis might not be able to erect during sexual activity. All right? So this can stem from damage to the nerve and the blood vessels caused by poor long-term management of their blood sugar. So you find that the, the diabetes is uncontrolled, meaning they're not taking medication, they're not exercising, they're not doing what they ought to do to prevent um, the disease that they now have from affecting them. In a negative way no it's there still you know but it's being controlled so they're not doing what they're supposed to do to control it so you find that it started to damage their nerve and their blood vessels leading to erectile dysfunction it can also cause urological problem so you find that um they have urinary incontinence incontinency they can't control their urine they can't hold it before they got bad they might add you know people themselves even after using a battery, you might find it have local dribbling. So the, there is still a bit of urine coming out of the penis. It can also lead to UTI, urinary tract infection. How does diabetes affect the body? You have the microvascular complications of diabetes and you have the macrovascular complications of diabetes. Microvascular complications, it can cause retinopathy. Retinopathy. Retinopathy basically is damage to the eye. Pathy means damage. So anywhere it's the word pathy, remember it means damage. It can cause nephropathy, damage to the kidney that can lead to even chronic kidney disease. It can cause also neuropathy, damage to the nerves, right? It can cause cerebral vascular disease that can lead to a stroke. It can cause cardiovascular disease that can lead to heart attack. It can cause peripheral disease that is decreased circulation in the limbs. How to help prevent diabetes? Cut down on sugar and refined carbs. Refined carbs are basically the carbs that um, the fiber and the bran have been removed from. With refined carbs, it breaks down in the body a lot faster than carbs that have fiber and bran in it. So with refined carbs, basically it's going to lead to the blood sugar level building up faster because there's no fiber. Are not burning it to make the body take it a good time and break it down, it break down fast. So your blood sugar level will go up faster and easier. You know, work out more. So do a lot more exercise. Exercising a lot will allow the blood to flow a lot easier through your body too. You know, you can also practice to drink water as your primary beverage. You know, quit smoking. You know, weight loss activity. Remember I was saying earlier in the video, that with fat, when a person is fat or obese, right? Fat can cause insulin resistance. So losing weight goes a far away with diabetes also. All right? How to control diabetes? We're going to start with how to control diabetes type 1. Remember, in the initial of the video, we stated that diabetes type 1 occurs when it occurs because there's not enough insulin being produced within the body. All right, so the main treatment for diabetes type 1 is insulin. We're going to be speaking about four different types of insulin, right? So we have the rapid-acting insulin, we have the short-acting insulin, we have the intermediate-acting insulin, and we have the long-acting insulin. The rapid-acting insulin, the brand that we use at our hospital most commonly, is a Humalog. Rapid-acting insulin starts to work within 15 minutes of being injected within the patient's body and the effect lasts 3 to 4 hours. The short-acting insulin, our brand that we use at our hospital is Humalin, it starts to work within um, 30 minutes of being injected within the human body and its effect lasts 6 to 8 hours. 
the intermediate acting insulin a brand that we use at our hospital is humalin nph it starts to work one to two hours of being injected within the human body and the effect lasts 12 to 18 hours the long acting insulin a brand that we use at our hospital is a lantus it starts to work hours after being injected within the human body and its effect lasts 24 hours or longer within the human body. There's also a mixed insulin, right? The one that we use most commonly at our hospital is 70-30. There are different mixtures. You have 30-30 insulin. You have different mixtures of the mixed insulin. However, 70-30 is the one that we use. Um, this is a mixture of the intermediate insulin and the rapid acting insulin. How to control diabetes type 2. There are many different management for diabetes type 2. All right, one of the management is number one. You have lifestyle changes. You have medication. You know, and you have insulin injections too. Lifestyle changes. Basically, you know, all right, one, you're going to start eating better dieting practices. So you cut down on the refined carbs. You know, you cut down... And a lot of sweet food that you normally eat you increase your intake of water you start exercising more if you're a smoker you take a little time and quit smoking and also portion sizing so you're not going to take one big whack of food your portion size of food there's a lot of individuals that don't understand how to portion size so they are dietitian at different hospital you can go and speak to your private practitioner i've been referring you to a dietitian that will help you with portion sizing and choosing food that you as a diabetic individual can eat. You know, that's very important. All right, we are going to go now to a table basically that I got offline. I'm going to also reference it that you guys can go back to it and see. This table basically gives you an idea of a different pure medication, pure meaning pill tablets that. Um, an individual or a diabetic patient takes and how it actually works with the patients. All right, so this slide that you're seeing, the table that you're seeing, that's for our nursing students or any individual that is interested in reading it. So basically, this table tells you the type of drug, um, how they work, an example of these drugs. Just like how with blood pressure medication, you have different category. It's the same thing when come come on to anti diabetic medication, right? You have different category of the medication. It tell you how they work on the body, um, and also the type of medication that comes under each category. So as I said, if you want the slide, you can get the slide and you go and look at it more in details. Hi guys. So I hope you guys liked the video that I just did a while ago. Remember to subscribe to my channel, tell the other individuals about my channel, The Life of a Caribbean Nurse, so they can also subscribe and share the goodness. Um, while you're learning, I'm also relearning and remembering things, so it's helping not only you, but it's also helping me. Um, comment below what else you want to see, re-educational videos, and I'll try my best to post accordingly. So as you know, the educational videos are once per week. Um, I'm really trying, so I'll continue to try and do my best. Guys, just like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you don't subscribe yet. Tell your mother, your grandmother, your sister, your brother, your baby, everybody about this channel. Let's get huge. Let's get out there. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much.